Disney stocks. Wait, what? I didn't know the stock app was on Vision Pro. Huh. Disney just released earnings. They increased the dividend up by 50%, so the stock price went up. Anyways, I just want to come up here to talk about what I have learned about Vision Pro after using it for the past three days. I'm actually recording using a camera, but I have a note in front of me and to talk this straight into the camera. This is kind of strange, but I thought it was kind of interesting use case of it. A few things I learned that I just completely wrong about Vision Pro. Number one, the pass through it's really good, but it's definitely not perfect. It is good enough to see most things around you. Like I can see the vein in my hand at close distance under a good lighting area. But in the dark, it becomes granny and really hard to see the detail in the dark. Besides that, I kind of suffer from motion sickness when I take off the headset and go back to the physical world. Um, I am not sure if I will be able to get over it. Again, this is my third day using the Vision Pro so that maybe I'm just not used to it. Hopefully I get better about my motion sickness and that's actually one thing that I kind of want to return Vision Pro because of the motion sickness. Second, it cannot replace laptop for me yet. There are a few things that Vision Pro is good at, but it still cannot replace laptop for me. For example, let's say I want to connect to this laptop, right? We only get one single virtual monitor. If I just place it here. Now you replace the actual physical monitor. But that is not amazing to me. I want a second monitor. Apparently that's just software issue. There's really no restriction for Apple to allow me to duplicate this into two monitors. Another reason why it cannot replace this laptop yet is that it is kinda heavy still. Even though I'm wearing a dual band configuration, it is a lot better and it's way better than the single band. The single band looks definitely sleeker. For example, like it makes my hair look really ugly, uh, not gonna lie. But using this is really, really heavy on my front of my face at least. That's two reasons why it cannot replace laptop yet for me. This is the first Vision Pro. It's going to be the worst Vision Pro that they're ever going to produce, right? The next generation is gonna be lighter, more powerful. It's going to have better battery life. We just need to be patient. There's like a few things I learned about Vision Pro after using it for three days straight. Maybe like two to three hours on and off usage of Vision Pro. What's really good is that I can go out in the front yard with my dog and watch a really nice YouTube video while letting the dogs out and pee and poop. It's not achievable using your phone because your phone is just like this small tiny device. But like for example, I can just put this big picture like this and swipe through it. Anyways, uh, I just want to chat about my experience and here is some clips between me and my friend FaceTiming each other using Persona. I'll talk to you guys later. I don't think I do look retarded, but I do look very evil, I feel. <laughs> no, dude, you look like a grandma to me. <laughs> hey, did you know you can actually touch the panels? When you touch the panels? If you take the eye message, right, really close to you, and then you can actually interact with it just by touching it. Holy fuck! Yeah, that's what I'm saying! Oh my god, this is instantly better! Yo, I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 screens in front of me. Yo, yo, like, I'm looking at the video, I do look stupid. Oh my god, how did I look?